Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shine. So if you're new here, then twice a week I do videos. So my last one I did was a fun facts one. So it's me actually watching Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So if you've not seen that, then please go check that out. And today I thought I'd talk about the animals of Disney. Now I have in the past talked about, say, the psychics of Disney. I did recently do a video on Timon and Pumbaa, so it kind of gave me the idea of doing more animal ones for you. And yeah, let's just get into it. So obviously the first thing I talk about is my hoodie. Now I have mentioned this hoodie before. If you watched my vlog, you know that I actually wear this quite a lot. It's my favourite thing to wear, especially this time of year, because if you didn't know, I actually live in England, which is very cold at the moment, so having something like this, it's obviously going to keep yourself warm, but it's also really cute as well. So this I actually got from Primark. I did actually get it a couple of Christmases ago, but since then, Primark have done other ones since, so I've actually got this one. Like I said, this is the Simba one. Um, I think if I remember rightly, it was about £15, give or take. Um, I like to say something like this, you can probably only get from eBay now, hashtag not sponsored. But then to go with that, I thought I'd actually bring up, which is this is the cat's throw, even though it's got dogs on it. Saying that, I've got a little biscuit here with me. So this is little biscuit. So yet again, if you've seen my vlogs, you'd know that I've got two cats, um, biscuit and cookie. So biscuits actually come up here to join me. So obviously it's an animals one, why not? So like I said, so this is actually the cat's throw. So on the sofa, I've got loads of throws. And in the corner is actually where the cats sit. So even though it's a dog one, but this is one that they've chosen to sit on so this is actually a Dalmatian one so yet again I actually got this from Primark and I just love the fact that you've actually got Pongo and Purdy there so you just got them in the middle there and then all around them is just Dalmatians if I remember rightly things like this are normally in between like six to ten pounds I would say it's like a standard size but I just love the fact it's got all the Dalmatians on there and it's also got it on the other side as well so it's actually reversible so sticking with my sofa another one I've got is actually this one here so this is a Marie cushion um, I really like this one just on the basis that it's got like a little tufty bit at the top there with her hair and it's got obviously a bow on there as well. So one thing I like about this one, it's actually got a pattern on the other side, so it's just like a nice simple pink and white striped pattern on there. But I just think this is super cute, the only thing is it's really big. <laughs> so the good thing is it's quite a big cushion. Um, if I remember rightly, I think I did actually get this in Primark as well. Um, I've not been in Primark for a while, um, just because of Christmas and things like that and working, I've not had a chance to go to Primark. So I don't know what they've got in Primark at the moment. I just thought this was really cute. Um, I do have other cushions as well, which so probably <laughs> there's going to be a part two to this. So another thing that Primark do is makeup stuff. I have done a whole makeup Primark video before. Sometimes one of the things they do is when a certain film's coming out, they do like makeup things based on that. So for example, when a Lion King came out, they did loads of Lion King stuff. Uh, when Aladdin came out, they did stuff like that. And when Dumbo came out, they did Dumbo things. So this one's actually a makeup brush cleaner, which I think is so adorable. Dumbo's not really my favorite, but I just bought this because I thought it was so cute. Um, I don't actually have any intention of using it, just because I didn't want to ruin it, I just thought it was really nice. But this is, like I said, a makeup brush cleaner, and it's got all the different ridges on there. So obviously, when you want to clean your makeup brushes, you can kind of get in there and obviously get all the makeup off. But I just thought this was adorable. Um, I can't remember how much it was, because unfortunately, oh no, two pounds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't remember how much it was. But yeah, so it was two pounds. Like I said, I did actually get this uh, from Primark. If I remember rightly, I think I actually got from Primark last summer, so it wasn't like that long ago. I just thought this was super cute, but like I said, I just bought this as like more decoration. So in my bedroom where my vanity is, on my wall, I've actually got some makeup stuff. So all my Disney makeup stuff I got from Primark or Colourpop and things like that, I've actually got this with that because I just think it's super cute. But yeah, I've not seen any other ones like this where it's like a makeup brush cleaner with obviously a character on it, so I don't know if they do other ones as well. So the next two are actually my husband's. So I I actually had to borrow them, which obviously I know you won't mind. Um, one of them I actually bought for him, which was a present, not last year, year before, so it was either birthday or Christmas, and it's actually this Mushu mug. Now, he absolutely loves Mushu, we love Mulan, I can't wait for the new film to come out, it comes out in March, obviously there's going to be loads of merchandise everywhere, so I can't wait for that. But yeah, so I actually got him this Mushu mug, which I thought was super cute. Um, he does like his bigger mug, so this one I would say is like a standard mug, but normally he does like mugs that are a little bit bigger, but sometimes he prefers this one if he's only got time to have like a quick drink or if he just wants a quick coffee that kind of thing so that's why he would drink this one but I do like the fact it says in there uh, dragon not lizard I don't do that tongue thing and obviously the picture is him obviously sticking his tongue out so this actually came from the Disney store normally Disney store mugs range in between 10 to 15 pounds depends on when you get them and obviously how big they are that kind of thing so I would just suggest to have a look at the Disney store website so that's one of the things that I borrowed from Ruben to talk about in this video and then the 
other thing, so he was at work one day and he needed to go and um, get some shopping after work and where we go shopping normally is Asda just because it's near where we both work. Now Asda always has a toy section, so um, if you're not familiar with Asda, Walmart is your version of Asda, they're both the same company, it's just one's obviously American and one was English, and he came home with this particular toy, and I was like, actually this is really cool, um, it's actually this one here, which is Rex, I really like this one, I just think it's super cute, and I kind of feel like this is life size to obviously how Rex would be in the film, I kind of feel like this is the size he would be, but I just like the fact that his little mouth opens, obviously he does, it's head does turn as well, his legs move, and it's just, for me, when I look at this, I feel like this is Rex from Toy Story, because obviously where his tail and I think over the joint is, that's exactly the same as it is in the film. Now, Rex at the moment, he's been moved around quite a bit, because um, originally he used to sit on the windowsill, but because now it's winter, we have obviously the curtains closed, because obviously it's cold and it gets darker quicker, so we've had to move him around, but I just thought he was super cute to just kind of have around the house, like, it's one of those things. So if you didn't know, I'm actually almost 36, so I'll be 36 in May when it's my birthday. And so when people come round and they look at obviously all the stuff we've got in here, because obviously this is up in the attic, but throughout the house we've got like different Disney things. And people are like, oh, so how old's your child? And I'm like, no, this is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> so people who obviously come around like when we have inspections before or someone's come around to like, do the plumbing or just whatever um, Yeah, they've always like oh, you know, so how old's your child? And I'm just like no, this is all mine and my husband's, you know We've, we've got two two cats. There are children. There are for our babies, but yeah No, so um, a lot of this stuff if you walked in you would think a child actually lives in <laughs> But no, just just me and my husband. So I don't know how I'm gonna get this in shot. Um, I did actually vlog about this ages ago because my mum actually got this for me. If you're not familiar with HMV, sometimes they do these in HMV stores. And my mum was like, "Oh, what do you do with them when you don't need them anymore?" And she's and they were like, "Oh, normally we just send them back or obviously uh, throw them out." So she was like, "Is there any way I can have it?" Because she knows how much I love this particular film. And so one day I just got a phone call from my mum, being like, "Oh my god, you have to come round mine literally as soon as you finish work." So I came around to hers, and, <laughs> and this was waiting for me. So it's a cardboard uh, of Nala and Simba, so it just says classic on the bottom. But it's one of those things that they put when they've got obviously Disney DVDs or Disney Blu-rays, they sometimes have these next to them. Now, I can't believe she actually got me this. Like, it's one of those things, for one, it is huge. Like, I'm like, where am I gonna put it? At the moment, it's just been leaning against my wall downstairs in the hallway. Yet again, it's one of those things you walk in, it's just Disney everywhere. Um, I did say to Ruben, it would be nice if it go on the wall, just because being cardboard, I'm worried that one day someone's gonna knock into it and obviously damage it. Mm. So we were planning on obviously putting it on the wall. But I just say to him, wait until I do this video first and then obviously uh, we can put it on the wall afterwards. But yeah, if you know me, Lion King's my favorite film. I absolutely love Lion King. This is one of those rare things in the house that if someone looked at my collection, they would just look at that and be thinking, oh, that's quite unique. But I can see, you know, me being the kind of person to have something like that. But yeah, so I thought I'd just end it on that one just because I just thought that was so cool. So, like I said, I do have a lot more to do, um, so there will be a part two, possibly a part three. So, if you're not already, then please subscribe and click the bell notification. Obviously, get notified when those ones go up. So, yeah, so that is it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Later days.